Look at this. There, right there, that little blue dot on the computer screen is the planet Uranus. Tonight, I'm going to be taking a picture of the planet Uranus, which is 1.7 billion miles away from my backyard with my telescope. So like I said, I'm going to be using this telescope here, my image telescope, and with the 2x Barlow included, it'll have a focal length of 4,000 millimeters. But since Uranus is really far away, therefore has a really small size, even that focal length is not going to bring it out in too much detail. All you'll probably see in my image is a round disk of blue. But that's enough for me because I'm capturing something that is 1.7 billion miles away from Earth. For the camera, I'll be using my ZPUO ASI 224MC color camera, and that in the past has been a really good camera for me, um, capturing Jupiter and Saturn. On nights of good seeing, that camera works really well. So I'm going to use that same camera to capture Uranus here tonight. And since I've in the past, I've tried to locate Uranus with this mount with a hand controller, and at that focal length, at 4,000 millimeters, it's really hard to find anything. Even I even have trouble trying to find Jupiter even with its bright disk. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to attach my DSLR camera on it first. After its polar line, star line, I'm going to attach my DSLR camera and take a long exposure so I can make sure it's in the center of the frame in my DSLR. Then I'll take that off, put my planetary camera on with a Barlow, and I'm hoping that it's going to be in the frame somewhere on my computer screen. I hope that works out for me. If it does, then I'll be able to, after that, capture video files of Uranus, and then for processing, like all planetary um, data, you stack the image in something like AutoStacker, and hopefully I'll be able to bring out the blue color and a little bit of a disk, so we'll see. So now it's about time to cover up my scope, and then I just need to wait for it to get dark. So now guys, it's dark out, and I'm outside right here with my scope. Right now what I'm going to do is just uh, take the cover off my telescope and then polar line it, get all the cables settled so I'm going to get the, the extension cords out here so that when I wake up at 2 a.m. I'm going to go to bed, wake up at 2 a.m. because that's the time it's going to rise above the trees. There's trees way up there around the horizon. So I'll be back out here at 2 a.m. While I'm out here polar lining guys, I just want to mention that to polar line I use the Skywatcher app. It's the mini SAM console app I think. But I just plugged in my latitude and longitude and it gives me really good polar alignment. If I if I dial the polar alignment really good in, in my polar finder scope on my mount, I can actually, with the native focal length of 2,000 millimeters, I can actually get up to two minute exposures with, without guiding, so that's pretty good. So I'm back now, I actually did Wake up at 2 a.m. and look what I got. There it is. There, right there, that little dot is the planet Uranus. 1.7 billion miles away from Earth, and it's right here on my computer screen. It took a little while for me to find the planet Uranus, so I used the method I mentioned earlier in the video and it worked out. So right here, um, I have a 2x Barlow on with my CWO ASI 224 camera and everything worked out and this is my first ever time capturing Uranus. It's pretty amazing for me. I can't wait to process this data to get an image. I can see the blue color like I said see, and I can even see a little disc there. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm taking videos here with a really low gain so I can kind of get 
not, not a lot of noise in the image. And I'm using like 4,000 frames. So it's taking a little while, but that's okay. It's just, I just can't believe I got it right there. There's Uranus. So I just want to say, everyone, thank you for all my subscribers. I have 31 subs now. That's about it. Until next time, clear skies.